I'm Professor Dag, and please enjoy these 31 tales from the creep. Chapter 27 The Suit I sat silently in my truck for a few minutes after opening the box that held my future. I couldn't believe all this was happening. It was all just too crazy. And it was happening really fast. I hardly had time to think, but I needed these few moments before the fate of the world came crashing down on me after I read what was in this letter. I finally looked down, took a deep breath, and read, Dear Daniel, come to this address tonight. The suit is there. It's yours now. You have the key. You'll know what to do. Signed, Arthur. That's it, I thought. Whatever, man. I'm going to drive to this address and I'm going to get shot. That's what I'll know. But something inside me compelled me to go. And as I drove along, all I could think about was how much I wished I was at home with Shane eating something and sitting on the couch with her, watching a movie or running through some woods. I couldn't tell her about all this. It was too crazy, and she had already had to go through all that with me being in the asylum and everything. I drove on down the road and eventually got to the address. It was a long dirt drive that led me to this house, almost a mile away from the main road. I pulled up and got out of the truck. Slowly, I approached an old wooden house. I could see a light coming on from inside from one of the windows. I kept looking around waiting for someone to appear and take me out. As I neared the front steps, the door swung open. It's about time you showed up. There in the doorway was an old man, vaguely familiar. Well, come in. There's a lot to discuss. Inside, I saw the old man in better light. It's you, I stammered. You're the old man from the farmer's market. Of course it's me, he exclaimed. And better yet, I'm you, he added. No doubt my mind just blew. Here I was, standing in front of me, but in real life, and not in a mirror. It was too much. Of course he was older, but the more I looked, the more I could see it. How can this be, I cried. Never mind all that. I already explained all that. You shouldn't be surprised. He said, Yeah, but I didn't actually think it was for real, I said. I thought this was all just a joke from my birthday or something. He let out a laugh. That was exactly like mine. We don't have time for this. Now sit down. This is going to be a lot. <laughs>